So here is the lambda architecture. So lambda architecture basically is nothing but you know, the combination of both the speed layer and the batch layer both. So all the data entering into the system is dispatched to both the batch layer as well as the speed layer as well. So both the layers the data has to go redundantly for getting processed because both are meant for different uh, things, right? So one is one is doing. Uh, I mean, periodically one is processing the data in batch layer and uh, in real time one system is processing the data. So combination of both of this can be considered as lambda architecture folks. So first you have the data, I mean coming into your data center, so then it can go to both. Second, it will go to the batch uh, infrastructure and where the data can be persisted into HDFS then you will run some workflows over that persisted data set at periodic intervals. So then you do come up with batch view of the actual data. And then in the speed layer also you pass the data into speed layer as well where you process the data in real time because data will go through all these uh, functions in the real time and you will get the real time data out of your speed layer also. So then your query might get executed over both the batch layer uh, MP computed view or else your speed layer computed view. So both the places you can actually, your query can be triggered to get the actual results books. So that's the final step. So that's what pretty much is called as Lambda architecture. Lambda architecture is nothing but combination of both the batch layer which is running on top of Hadoop and uh, Storm which is running on, I mean, under the speed layer, combination of these two things can form the lambda architecture. That's what I mean we call it as lambda architecture. So servicing layer is nothing but uh, you know, uh, you actually store the data in some form, right, in some uh, location either in NoSQLs, okay, or else in some HDFS you copy the data, right. Once you process the data in your Hadoop uh, platform, you either keep the data in HDFS or else you keep the data in some NoSQL flavors, flavors. So which actually serve your queries. It could be the query could uh, use some uh, in those NoSQL flavors or else it could use some hive kind of things to actually run the query over the data set. So that's what servicing layer mean, meant here, which actually serves your queries.